Hello and welcome to chapter 22 of our Python 3 basics tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be doing is covering lists versus tuples. Or as some people call them tuples, I like to call them tuples. There's a pretty substantial difference between the two of them, but they're also very similar. So a tuple or tuple is immutable. This means you cannot change it once it's been defined, but this is kind of a good thing and, or a bad thing. Generally you're going to use a tuple for the specific reason that it is immutable. Then you have a list which is mutable and can be changed and generally use a list because it is mutable and it can be changed. So first I'd like to show both examples of this. So first we'll do a tuple and a really popular uh, reason why people are going to use tuples is for variable assignments in what is called sequence unpacking. So uh, let's show an example. So say you have a function and we'll say define example and this function does a bunch of code but at the very end it returns two values and in our case it's going to return a 15 and a 19. So that's the function. Now what you can do with tuple is you could say ab equals example and because example returns two values it's going to unpack this return and it's going to unpack 15 to a and 19 to b and this is a tuple and so since we're talking about tuples and we just defined a tuple it'd be a good thing to note right now that you can define a tuple either by just strictly just writing out the list so that's an example of a tuple or you can put them in round brackets like this and this is also a tuple so now what we could do is we could say print a and we can also print b and when we save and run this we get a is 15 b is 90. okay so the reason why it's important that this is a tuple is because we don't want to change the value of 15 or 19 and what they correspond to. We always, because we're calling it to a function or uh, you know, unpacking it from this function, we don't ever want, we want this to stay the same. We don't want this to be mutable. So that's kind of why we want to use tuples, for example. Another idea, a, a reason why people might use a tuple is say you've got a really, really long list of things. And I guess by list, it's really hard to talk about lists and tuples in Python because you can't use like group, you can't use set, you can't use like all these words that you would use to describe them, you can't use them because they're very specific in with Python there are groups and there are sets and all of this stuff so it's kind of hard to talk about them but anyway let's say an assortment of data with tuples you it takes up less space because it is immutable so Python is doesn't have to worry about having to change anything so you can iterate through a tuple very easily as opposed to a list now that's not to say you can't, you know, iterate through lists. A lot of people do iterate through lists using generators and stuff like that. But a tuple is going to be faster. So that's tuples. Conversely, we have lists. Now, the idea of a list is to be mutable, and you're probably going to find that you use lists for different reasons. To define a list, you use square brackets. So we'll do square brackets, and then we'll just make a random list. I'm just kind of throwing numbers out here. You don't have to copy my list. And that's a Python list. And with Python, inherently, there is no thing, uh, no such thing as an array. You'll hear people refer to this as an array, but this is not an array. It's actually a Python list. If you use an import module like, say, NumPy, for example, there are NumPy arrays. But inherently, Python does not have an array. It just has lists. So anyway, uh, moving along. So this is a list, and you can, you know, print x... Um, and you can print out our list, right? So here's our list. You can also reference specific things in a list. You can do this with tuple, tuples as well. So you could say like x5, for example, and we'll just print x5. And that will print out, you know, with the element with id of 5, which is the number 9, and so on. Now, lists are also mutable. So what do we do there? See, with lists, you can do all sorts of things. You can add to lists. You can remove things from the list. You can combine lists. You can search lists. You can sort lists. You can count things in lists and so on. So with that, let's go ahead and do some things to the list. So here we, you can see that we can print specific. You can print the whole list, an element from that list. 
the next thing we can do, like let's say we want to add something to the list. Well, just like you can write to a file using append, you can append to a list. So we could say x.append, and we want to append 12. Now just like appending to a file, append is just going to add it to the very end. So we can print x like that, save and run it. And we can see that we've added 12 to the end of the list. Now, what if you don't, you want to add the number to the list, but see lists are ordered. So maybe you want to specifically insert uh, an element in the list somewhere. Well, you can insert things into a list the following way. So let's say print, we'll come down here and we'll, we'll do x dot insert and we'll do five and seven. Okay. So now we'll print x. So you can run that. Apparently it's going to take a second. There we go. And what you can see here is at the fifth element, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At the fifth element, we have a number 7. So what we've done here is at ID 5, we've inserted the number 7 into our list. So that's how you can insert something specifically into a specific spot. Let's make some space here. Next, what we can do is we can remove things. So we can say, for example, let's get rid of that 7. We can say x.remove and then the number 7. So we can save and run that. Oh, we need to print. Let's print x. Save and run that. And now you can see that 7 has actually been removed now. Now, the way this is going to work is if you have multiple elements that have the exact same value, it's only going to remove the first one. It won't remove like all sevens. It will just remove the first seven it comes to. Also, we can search for a specific index. So here we see we have the number 12. Let's say we want to know what the index value of 12 is. So we could say print x dot index, and then you put the value that you want to find the index of. So we're going to put 12. So we save and run that, and we see it has a value, or the index is 8. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that is 12. So that's a index value of that. Also, we can find out how many instances of something there is in a list. So we could say print x.count3. So we'll save and run that, and we get the number 2. So that means there's two 3s in this list. Sure enough, there's one of the 3s, and there is the second 3. Finally, we can sort lists. So we can go x.sort like this, and now we can print x, save and run that, and we see now we have a sorted list in order of numbers. Now the next question is, do lists have to be numbers? Well, no, they don't actually have to be a number. So we could say x equals, and we're just going to make up some names. Let's do spot Cam, Jan, Dave, and Zach. Now we can print, print x, and then x.sort, and then let's print x again. Save and run that. And first we see in the same order that we entered it, and then, whoops, and then we can see that they're actually now in alphabetical order. C, D, J, S, Z. Now we can flip that. We could say x dot reverse, print x, save and run that. And now we've actually reversed the order here. So we can reverse the order of a list. And it should be noted though that, again, lists are mutable. And so this means that every time you do say x dot append, this means you've literally changed the value of x. x.insert, you've changed the value. When you search, that's not such a big, big deal. You can count and all that. Um, but when you sort, that, that actually changes the, the order of the elements in the list, and it's, it's been mutated. So sort, reverse, all that stuff. As you can see, it's, it's changed the list. So keep that in mind when you do it. So, so if you had something that you didn't want to change the order of, again, you would use a, a, a tuple, <laughs> but you would, in this sense, you know, you, we can do all kinds of really nice operations to lists.
So that's lists and tuples. Hopefully that was easy enough to follow along. There's a lot of things that you can do with both of them. Obviously lists, there's more things that you can do simply because there's a lot more you can do to a list, right? Tuples by their nature don't allow you to do very much to them. But generally for my uses, I tend to only use tuples for sequence unpacking, whereas lists, I use them you know, to be manipulated. So that concludes lists and tuples as well as list manipulation. In the next video, what we're going to be talking about is dictionaries in Python, so stay tuned for that.